All right, this is uh, your lovable widower, Prince DJ. And I have been having problems with uh, Spotify, uh, with, uh, for Spotify for podcasters. I was trying to get in so that I could uh, not only tell you the winner of the uh, pick my co- uh, pick your college. I was also going to talk about the press conference for WrestleMania Forty, and boy, is uh, definitely is the one that people are still talking about now. I was also going to be doing a Valentine's Day rant. Yeah. Definitely, def- definitely going to be doing a Valentine's Day rant. Uh, but I would also like to thank a palace citizen who has been helping me in my endeavor to find finding a Valentine. She will be getting, she will still be, even though it hasn't happened, and even though she, she and I was unsuccessful with getting a Valentine, uh, she will be getting a medal still uh, from the Second Palace of Big D Country. Uh, it's going to be, it's go, going to be a busy show. It's going to be a busy show. Now, I am still going to be planning to do the NFL uh, pickup f- finale uh, after the sometime after the Super Bowl, and I'm going to follow it in Jerry Springer style when he be doing the final thoughts. So, uh, but it's been a crazy week. I I uh, don't know if you're hearing my voice that I have been having a cold, uh, and uh, it's just been crazy, absolutely crazy. So, but anyway. Let's get to the fun part of the whole, um, the whole thing. Hmm. What do you want to talk about first? Yeah. I get it. No, no, no. The news don't talk about the aesthetic good stuff part for a part, but they always talk about the bad stuff first. But, Big D Country is different. So... I'm going to start off with the who, you know, pick your college game show winners first. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the pick the, the, uh, the game show pick your college first. Then I'm going to talk about the press conference. And then I'm going to do the Valentine's rant. And also thanking the, uh, the princess who was trying to help me uh, to have a Valentine's on Valentine's Day. So, uh... I have been researching a lot of colleges, uh, a lot of online colleges, and especially uh, the self-paced college because I need, I need self-paced college, and then also one where I could do one class at a time. I know it's going to be a slower way to graduate, but you know, there's some twists and turns on the road to graduation. But, but, um. There's a, there's a, there is a college that has let me doing one class, um, one class until I graduate, or one class is equal three credits. Uh, there are 60 credits in order to get an associate degree, whether it's associate of arts or associate of science. Uh, there is 120 credits to get the, uh, bachelor's degree, bachelor of arts or bachelor of science. But I want to start off with my associates. At least, even if something does happen, then at least I would get my associates and I could still tell my wife that, you know, I finished the story. I I said what I meant out to do and told her when she passed that I promised that I will finish college. So then it's later, if I want to go for my bachelor's degree, then I'll be well in my way to do that. And I, I could also stay at the same college to finish that bachelor's degree. I could stay at the same particular place. I don't have to go anywhere else. So, we shall see. All right, with that in mind, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you and explain to you uh, why I picked the particular college that I pick. And then, just in case, I do have a plan B. That's not going to change. The only one that is going to change between then and when I finally get to enroll, hopefully in the main college, you know, is the 
how many class t- uh, do I have to take? Because a lot of class, a lot of colleges require you to take anywhere from two classes to uh, four classes, and I can't do four classes. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Not in the cards. Tried that and I failed. Yeah. Uh, cause so two classes is meaning that you're part time as far as financial aid, and four classes meaning that you're full time. So, I can't do that. I can't do that. But, uh, I have found a college that uh, fits my narrative, fits my pieces of the puzzle, so to speak. And, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Alright. Now, Big D Country welcomes... The University of the Cumberland. Yes. Uh, the University of the Cumberlands is a Christian school in Kentucky. Uh, they have a beautiful campus. And also they uh, have online classes as well. Uh, you, you're allowed to take uh, as many courses as you can to graduate as, uh, along with their specific, uh, specific degree plan. And it's a Christian school, so you will be taking, um, you know, Old Testament survey, a New Testament survey, and um, Christian ethics, and, which is a good thing, which is definitely a good thing. And that, that's what I want. I want the Christian foundation education. I don't like to study evolution. I don't want to study about uh, survival of the fittest stuff or we come from apes or anything like that. No, I'm on team creation. And I value I value a Christian education that I would get at a Christian college. Even though a lot of them is expensive, but I value that type of teaching uh, when I go to college. And the fact that I could do it online is excellent. Now, along the way, the problem is, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go to the bad story uh, one day about, you know, when I was first in college, I'll go to that bad story one day. But this is about the uh, the college and why I picked it. I also picked it because uh, they have a tuition guarantee. Uh, you, you never hear this in some colleges. A tuition guarantee that, that they had the same uh, tuition whether it's on campus or online, uh, they want to put students first. Now, a lot of colleges do have uh, free books, and then a lot of co- colleges do have e-books. But, uh, yeah. But uh, with the tuition guarantee, the uh, putting the students first, the free books, I mean, you couldn't go wrong. And, uh, you know, it's Christ-centered, and, you know, I think that's that's valuable, in my opinion. That's valuable, in my opinion. Truly valuable. Uh, and also, now, you're going to laugh at me at this one, because you know about the uh, rivalry that I have with the New England Patriots, and uh, you know that I never picked them on the NFL pickup. Well... You're definitely going to laugh at me first, but the mascot of the University of the Cumberland is the Patriot. Yes. I kid you not. I kid you not. The mascot is a Patriot, and he has this uh, Patriot hat, but no, it had nothing to do with New England Patriots. And they do have a replica on campus of the Liberty Bell. And I thought that was awesome. And like I said, the campus is beautiful. I've just seen uh, YouTube videos on it. And it is beautiful. So University of the Cumberland is the winner. And I'm hoping to enroll there in the fall. After I've taken some Sophia courses starting in March. So technically, uh, school for me don't start to the fall. But I'm starting early in March. With uh, Sophia learning. Uh, my plan B. Just in case something has happened. And I can't. You know. Get to University of Cumberland yet. 
Plan B school, and that's not going to change because there's a nearby school close to here. I could definitely get to the graduation. Congratulations to Galveston College. Uh, you are the Plan B school. Uh, now, I do have a pennant. They gave me a pennant um, for, uh, you know, they, they gave me a pennant in the mission packet at uh, the Galveston College. Now all I need is the pennant for the University of Cumberland so I, I put, uh, so I could uh, decorate it, so. But I don't have that yet. <laughs> but again, I'm planning on getting both college gear from uh, definitely the, the winner of the Plan B school. Now, things will change for the Plan C schools, and I'm definitely announcing it now. Uh, but the Plan C school is St. Peter's University. Now, even though it is in Jersey City, New Jersey, a home home of one of the schools that don't even know how to keep records, uh, but uh, you know they they have uh, they have a lot of programs for adult learners, and um, they have a Division One sports, uh, the Peacocks, and uh, it's also now even though it's Catholic. But it's still a spiritual type of universities. But all in all, it's still a Plan C school for now. But I have another Plan C school, uh, Excelsior University, as well. That's uh, located in. Oh! It's located where the uh, Chief Justice of the um, Supreme Court of Big D Country lives in Al Albany, New York. So, other than that, that is. Now, my main target school is University of the Cumberland, and hopefully I can finish the rolling there in the fall. And like I said, March will be the start of the college journey again with some of your learning classes. I could only take two classes at a time uh, per month, you know, to, together. So, but I'm going to take one class, so I want to have an ample chance of passing each class that I take before I could go to uh, University of Cumberland and then try to take one class there. So that is my plan. So, now that we got the college winners and um, the colleges will be a part of Big D Country, we got that out the way. Let's do... Let's do the uh, the uh, WrestleMania forty. Yeah, let's do the WrestleMania forty press conference first and get that out the way. I thought the beginning was crazy because they didn't have the women's champion. Now they did have Rhea Ripley, but I don't even know if she's going to be in the women's uh, elimination chamber or. Yeah, because. Nia Jack did uh, injured her during SmackDown, but she was able to go to the press conference. So I don't know what to deal with that. But she was able to head to the press conference. and But Bailey is still um, fighting EO Sky for her championship. But EO Sky wasn't there. But the EO, uh, EST Bianca Belair. The one that I mistakenly uh, said, Bell Bear. <laughs> I know that uh, police chiefs are still remembering that, and, uh, you know, but. Now, she was talking about the. She was talking about her. Um, her uh, dominate winning performance. Okay, which is good. Which is good. She talked about that in, in the press conference. Uh, but she's not in the match. At WrestleMania yet because she was she is at the time they were getting ready to have the um they were getting to ready to have the elimination qualifying for the elimination chamber and uh, Bianca Belair is or or currently was on the card because at the time it's Saturday now at the time of this taping. But regardless, 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 I'll find out who won that match uh, during the SmackDown resort. I'll find, I'll find, I'll find that out. But uh, it was strange to me that that uh, B 
Bianca Belair was there and not um, the potential uh, other participants. Because you never know. Something could always happen in the uh, uh, preliminary matches. Something always go down in preliminary matches. Then the thing that slapped me in right and left side of my face. Because they did that during the WrestleMania when Trish Stratus uh, went to WrestleMania. And it brought me memory to when she was talking to King Jerry Lawler. And then she had to know to talk about. And I had a, I had a huge, huge crush on Trish Stratus. Okay. Yeah, of course I had a trust on the table, but then Brock Lesnar would have killed me. She would have, he would have sent me to Suplex City. Okay. Then I had Don Marie, and she was with Mark Merrill. So that was gone. But this one was the flashback of Trish Stratus because, and not only that, she was promoting. Her and her husband's show, Love and Wrestling. I was like, you got to be directly killing me right now. Because I thought that I was going to have a crush on on um, Bianca Belair. Until I think I saw one time, I think either, either, either her first time she won or another time she won. I think her... A husband or a then boyfriend at the time within the ring and 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 they, they hugged and kissed in the ring and then I was like what what you what yeah so that was out and I was and I was like what are you doing you you was you was doing fine when you was talking about your dominating wins and your, and your good performance. You were doing fine. And then the thing that just did that is when you were talking about uh, love and wrestling, the show that you do with your husband. I was like, oh, and he actually mentioned her husband. And I was like, oh, my God, help. Please help me. And Wednesday, Valentine's Day is coming up, too. Oh, that is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Oh boy. Okay, and then the next participant was um Rhea Ripley. Okay. And the fans were on fire for Rhea Ripley. They was even doing mommy chants when she think when she said mommy is here. They were doing the mommy chants. Okay. And so she was talking about you know, she wanted to win the, the Elimination Chamber so she could go to WrestleMania and all that good stuff. Okay. And, well, guess who also showed up? Becky Lynch. Yeah, Becky Lynch. The one that I did have a crush on, I think I mentioned this on the show. And that was the time that Stefan said, now, well, he was healed then, but not, not uh, he's faced now. But uh, I mean, he was still killing me that he knows that I like uh, stuff. Uh, but he's safe because I already got family, and I've already had the nerve to see them one time in Disney World during Christmas. And because it was on Facebook, and I was like, oh boy. But uh, yeah, but uh, they were on the so of, of course they're going to be on the same uh, same press conference, but <laughs> because they're together, but. <laughs> Oh, man, but Steph was really uh, wanting to... Now, I'm surprised that, I guess, uh, Becky Lynch wanted probably to face uh, Rhea Ripley. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? But Rhea Ripley and Steph, uh, uh, Rhea Ripley and uh, Becky Lynch did the, the little stare down. But then that was the on the women's side of the whole thing, so... No EO Sky, which I was very surprised and very shocked, and no Bailey. But she was on SmackDown. Wearing this beautiful, almost like Spider Man uh type outfit and a beautiful no, it was a it was like a jacket, uh either a jacket or a uh, sports coat or something like that. And it's uh, other but beautiful black outfit. I mean she was really be- Bailey was really beautiful the back then on on uh Friday night SmackDown. 
Okay. Here comes the crazy. Alright, so it was about to be time for the men's side of WrestleMania. Of the WrestleMania kickoff. This is where shit hit the fan, that they would say. The first one to come out was Seth Rollins. Alright. Uh, Seth Rollins had been getting Cody uh, Cody Rhodes, the winner of the uh, the 2020 uh, Royal Rumble, uh, to face him for WrestleMania. And this may be a part two because uh, it's been, been a lot of talk about, so there's got to be a part two here. Uh, yeah, so let me try to get as much in as I can. Because this is really crazy. Or, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead. I want every, everything to be not only about the, uh, the wrestling, but also about the Valentine's Day, man. So there's going to be a part two. Uh, stand tight. I'll be right back. I'm going to get a part two of this segment. Don't move a muscle. This is the Big D Down. 